A fifth grader and a custodian at a local school get hero treatment after leaping into action to save a boy's life. Quick thinking and quick action prevented a tragedy. Local 12's David Winter shows us what happened. A young man today getting a lot of notoriety and pats on the back for surviving a choking incident that could have taken his life. And the custodian who jumped into action takes in the moment with the boy she saved. Here's what happened. It was about 12.15 p.m. The fifth graders at Cherokee Elementary in Liberty Township at lunch when Brayden Robinson noticed something was wrong. I saw um, my friend out of the corner of my eye and he was doing the sign and um, then I thought he was choking so I ran over here and then and then I said Miss Donna he's choking. So Where, what do you do? Where's he at? Which boy is it? And then I came over here and I picked him up and I started doing the hyenic renewal on him. And uh, I did it three or four times real fast. I laid him back down, made sure he was all right. Then I seen that he wasn't doing well, so I picked him back up, repeated myself, and then he finally choked it out. EMTs were on site within minutes, taking the boy to the ER for observation. ERs treat 12,000 children 14 and younger every year from choking. At least one child dies from choking on food every five days in the U.S. But thanks to Miss Donna and Braden, Luis would not be one of those statistics. Yeah, I'm glad I reacted quickly. Um, I'm, I'm, yeah. Do you consider yourself a hero? Kind of, yeah. Does that make you feel good? Yeah. Braden, he's like a very kind, responsible kid, and I know he would do anything to help someone. He is safe and happy, and we are so proud of Miss Donna and the students and staff who reported it immediately and responded appropriately. Yay! Yay! And while it's back to work for Miss Donna, it's back to work with a little extra gratitude and pride. You know, I'm so thankful that. Um, this young boy, Braden, was, gave me the opportunity to come over to rescue this little boy. I'm real proud of him. I'm real proud of myself. I would do it over again and over and over. Boy, that young man, he is so lucky. Instantly, he had been choking on a snack chip. Such a great story. Miss Donna, she was not even supposed to be working yesterday's lunch. She's normally a night custodian. She was just filling in for a coworker who had called in sick. Right place at the right time, thankfully. Can yeah, you? great story, David. Thank you. And choking is the fourth leading cause of accidental death in the U.S., with 5,000 people dying annually.